Succeeding in a MOBA like League of Legends or Dota requires near-perfect coordination. A single teammate out of sync with the others can mean the difference between victory and defeat. So even the most skilled contender needs to excel at cooperation in addition to their individual role. Fnatic displayed such incredible teamwork at the recent Dota Summit 12, in which star player 23 Savage both aided and was aided by the rest of his squad as they forged a path to victory. The team exited the first day of the tournament's team phase in excellent standing, having annihilated both Liquid and Cloud9 two to nothing. They were the only team to pull off a clean sweep on their first day, due in no small part to Savage's dominant performance. There's gonna be a melee rag, 23 Savage, he says nah, I'd rather go for the kill on Foxy, there's gonna have to be a buyback, Moon's in a lot of trouble, but he does make it out, he doesn't have the Aegis, he's gonna get earned up, gets the kill. The Thai player is especially proficient at clearing out enemy minions, generally scoring nearly half of the team's total last hits by himself, and earning a ton of gold in the process. Unfortunately, the second day didn't go quite as well, with the team dropping games to each of their opponents, OG Seed, Thunder Predator, and Evil Geniuses. They still performed well enough to make it out of the team phase on the winner side of the bracket and with guaranteed winnings over 10,000 US dollars to boot. First up in the bracket proper was a rematch with Liquid, which in a case of Deja Vu ended much the same way, as Fnatic decisively took both games in quick succession. 23 Savage was in top form dishing out 9 kills in the second game and dealing twice as much damage to enemy buildings than the rest of his team combined. Awaiting them next was another bout with Evil Geniuses and Fnatic was eager to even the score. As questionable choice of support acts cost them the first game, however, but perhaps this loss was just what they needed. For the next rounds, their teamwork was on fire. Dominating EG thanks to some cunning punishes and proper coordination, 23 Savage's skill as Shadow Fiend in Game 2 was instrumental in halting EG's momentum, leveraging the hero's tricky playstyle to excel in his safe lane. Fnatic reunited with OG Seed in the Grand Finals, but by this point, the scrappy Southeast Asian squad were so in sync that they were unstoppable. Round 1 was an absolute blowout with Fnatic's Moon carrying his team to victory in under 20 minutes thanks to his amazing Death Prophet play. Game 2 saw Moon and Savage teaming up to blow out OG Seed with the former's Ember Spirit controlling the map and allowing Savage to carve out a ridiculous 19 kills as anti-mage. The final round was the closest of the set, seeing OG Seed punish Fnatic's cocky overextensions in a tight tug of war that lasted nearly a full hour. However, Fnatic simply outplayed them in the end, coming out on top in a clean 3-0 victory that sent them home with $60,000 in prize money and the title of Summit's greatest team. Fnatic takes the victory, takes the tournament 3-0 in the Grand Finals. A masterclass performance by them.